Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to use copper planes in KiCad, a very useful tool when uh, designing a PCB that handles a lot of current, a lot of power. So let's dive into it. So we have a very simple design, a couple of capacitors, an inductor and an LDO. You can already see that we have several copper planes already in place. And this is what they look like. Today we are going to start with the most commonly used, that is the ground copper plane. Uh, so we click on place here on zone and we draw where we want uh, the plane to be and KiCad does everything for you. You just need to uh, select the net itself, we are going to use ground reference. Uh, we are going to discuss these corner smoothing a little bit later. And I'm going to maintain the standard uh, 025 millimeters um, and the thermal clearance and spoke width. I'm going to also uh, maintain the standard. So now we just draw uh, the copper and this is what you get. KiCad does everything for you, just like any other uh, PCB design tool. So uh, only a, a few key things to worry about are the connections between the power plane and the pad itself. Uh, they are made with these small spokes. Um, and for example, this is a package, uh, an LDO, that radiates a lot of thermal energy, a lot of heat, and we need to dissipate that heat through the whole PCB, or basically using the PCB as a heatsink. And with these small connections, uh, we'll not get the best thermal performance out of this PCB. So to transfer the maximum power, uh, thermal-wise, is to get the pad connections as a solid connection. So now we are using these thermal reliefs, which are the standard ones, and when you use the solids, we can get a lot of heat pumped to the PCB. The problem is that the other components will also use this uh, solid copper. That could be a big problem, especially when soldering the components, these very small 603 component, so, what you can do is just going to the uh, pad properties. Uh, in this case, this is the big uh, pad that this device uses to radiate the thermal energy. Just go to properties. Now just go to local clearance and settings. And you can see down here, pad connection. It uses the standard from the environment around it but you can specify a solid connection. So now, when you update the plane using the B key, it will make a solid connection between that pad and the ground plane. And like this, we get a solid connection between the pad and the ground plane. That means that uh, the device itself, this LDO, can radiate a lot of power, a lot of thermal energy, through uh, the copper planes itself. Now another example is this power trace. This is the input voltage, the, the power connector itself. Um, and as you can see, it uses those little spokes that are very thin, uh, about 0.5 millimeters. So you can go to the properties of the, the copper zone itself and select a bigger, uh, a thicker spoke to handle the high currents. So this is actually a problem that the old 3D printers had on the on their main board. So now we are going to use the copper plane uh, to make the VCC 5 volts of this board uh, a, real, a little different from the ground plane that we are used to, but it's actually the same thing. Uh, we this corner smoothing. I don't actually use that much. I only use the chamfer version, the fillet. I don't use it, but I'm going to show how they work. Now we just draw uh, the the plane itself. You can adjust a little bit uh, to make it look pretty. And now when we update it using the B key, uh, this is the final result. As you can see, the edges are smooths, that's the fillet uh, smoothing, 
and if we increase the radius it, get, it gets even more uh, smoothed out. Now I personally don't use the fillet smoothing, I only use the chamfer, of course this is a very ex exaggerated value, but if this is probably the value that I would use, 0.5mm, it makes the design uh, really cool and very functional. So now, uh, on a more complex version, this is actually the, the final board itself. As you can see, I've used that uh, VCC 5 volt power plane to connect the entire IC, the entire integrated circuit that we have here. So in this way you can make a very low resistance uh, track and make it very stable on high current spikes. So that is mandatory for high current applications like power supplies, uh, electronic speed controllers and even on amplifiers and audio amplifiers and there's a whole lot of examples where you can uh, use power planes like this. So remember when I said that this device can actually radiate a lot of thermal energy. So a way to improve the thermal performance of this board is to actually stitch the pad with vias to connect uh, the front copper plane with the bottom copper plane. And that way you can radiate the thermal energy to the other side of the board. And this on the bottom side has a bigger uh, copper plane. So, another thing that we're going to discuss is actually the keep-out areas. This is very important in RF applications, where we have a transmissile line or even a matching circuit for an antenna, and we need to specify an area where uh, it can't be any copper, for example, it can't be any ground planes or any power planes. Uh, so the way we do that is now we just draw using the keep out area tool and just like this uh, we just hit the B key to update it and bam we can get uh, a keep out area and in that way we have a transmission line in this case it's not a transmission line okay it's a 5 volt rail it's just to simplify it it's just a very simple sketch and when we see it in 3D this is what it looks like uh, there is no copper around it and that is to be able to maintain the 50 ohm impedance to reduce the capacitance we can get from having a very small distance between our transmission line and the surrounding circuitry. So this is an example where you need to use this keep out area. This is an RF52 microcontroller from Nordic. Uh, it already comes with a built-in BLA and this is the PCB guidelines for that circuitry and it clearly states that in, you need to put a keep out area on the inner layers uh, directly below the antenna matching circuitry uh, and the example that they give you is this one, it's a two layer board and where you can clearly see this keep out area. So that's it guys, thank you for watching and if you have any idea of stuff to do in electrical engineering, comment below and I'll read every comment. Thank you all and have a nice day.